Hey everyone, this is Omar. Welcome back to the fourth video of this tutorial series, Environment Concept Art. Well, I don't really think it's a tutorial at this point. It's just me talking and a time lapse. But <laughs> yeah, anyways, I just wanted to show my process. So at this point, we're pretty much almost done with this. It's just a matter of adding a final polish to this piece, you know, fixing areas that might look a little weird or wonky. And so yeah, um, just kick back and enjoy and I will see you guys at the end of this video. Alright you guys, so it looks like we are finally done with this piece up here. I think this is a good stopping point. I feel like there isn't really much that I can do with this piece anymore. And I really liked how this turned out in the end. I mean, it looks, I think it looks really good. Yeah. One thing that I like to do, I like to zoom out quite a bit and see if it reads properly. And I think, I think we did pretty good here. But yeah, but this is it. This is what we've been working on these past few videos. And let's just go ahead and what I'm going to do is that let's just do a little recap. I'm just going to hide all my layers that I have here and just one by one reveal them. And just take a moment and see how far we've come with this. So we had our thumbnails right here. Oh, where are they at? Oh, it's all hidden. So that was the 3D block out that we had and then that, that was the design brief and hide these two and these are the six thumbnails that we came up with they were super rough it was mostly about just uh, you know warming up and figuring out the elements we want to like include in this design up here and then I choose to go with number three and five and then I kind of like overlap them on top of each other as my sketch and then from there we did a line drawing on top of it and this is what it kind of looked like after that we had our value part where first i blocked everything out in grayscale like a silhouette and then on one layer i just went in and just started rendering the crap out of this and i don't know how hold on i gotta fix this this is bothering the hell out of me hold on i'm not sure how i got this color up here it's gonna go up here boop, 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 boop. There we go. Perfect. 
Okay, <laughs> I just had to fix that. But anyways, we had our value painting done up here. And then I have this empty layer here, which I will delete. And then we used gradient maps. This was the first one that I did. And then an overlay layer. Then this was just a normal layer where I, where I added a little bit of orange to certain parts of this image. And there was another gradient map that I used. And this was mostly just to brighten up certain parts of the area. Sorry, certain areas of the environment up here. And then I added some foliage up here, you know, maybe polish the tree branches a little bit more, the roots. And then I dropped in some texture on the leaves up here and on the tree trunk as well. And then darkened the lower part of the island itself. And then we brightened up the flame, added a little bit of smoke. And actually added another layer of smoke up here, which was a little bit more intense. And then I lowered down the opacity, not the opacity, the saturation of the overall design because it was a little overpowering. And then we included the little weapon rack, built that up, and then a few other um, blades of grass. And then this was the final polish up here. And then I, what I did for the background, I just put in an image of a night sky. And you can totally do that, you know, I mean, you don't have to render everything. I mean, this is concept art, you know, you're not expected to draw everything from scratch. All right, just when I was about to finish this video, I wanted to share one last thing with you guys. You know, it's always good to get feedback from your mentors, friends and fellow artists, because then they'll tell you things that they feel like need a little work on. So after I was done with that, I showed this piece to my mentor and he kind of guided me through um, and he kind of gave me some tips here and there that kind of uh, took this piece a little further. So the first thing that we did is that we kind of darkened this part a little bit more and added some more blue highlights up here. And then I also added like a little bit of mist and cloud up here just to show that, you know, this island is floating up in the sky. And it was mainly because like I put an image in the background where there were clouds. So he thought that it'd be better if I like put some here as well, just to give it like a sense of depth. And it's very subtle stuff. I mean, it's not like you know it's not like super intense or anything but what i also did is that i kind of like broke down had like two small like sections up here where i kind of showed that okay we started off with like a simple 3d model then we did a line drawing and then the final product was this color um so yeah i mean i'm really happy with how this turned out and hopefully you guys got to learn a thing or two from this um and yeah just have fun drawing man i mean that's what it is you just got to keep practicing keep doing it and then someday you'll just get as good as your art heroes. And yeah, cool. And this little guy up here was just mostly for just scale. So, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you being here. Um, this is a very small, tiny channel, but you know, it's fun making videos like these for me at least. So I'm gonna try posting regularly and we'll see where this goes from here. Till then, bye.